Hey guys, today I'm making a diorama based on a photo I took the very first time I went urban exploring back in 2008. Let's get right into it. I've cut out a bunch of pieces of mat board and I'm painting them green. These are going to be the molding and surrounding trim for the big windows. And now I'm taking the first 3D printed window piece that I've painted already and I'm gluing that into the wall so that I can start working on the air conditioning unit side. I will show this technique a little more later in this video, but basically I dabbed on a little bit of liquid latex rubber with a sponge and now I'm painting directly over it. And the idea is when the paint dries, I can then take my fingers or a tool and scrape off some of the paint that was over the liquid latex and it basically looks like a really good peeling paint effect. One big reason I started making these dioramas is that I can make them without all of the graffiti and vandalism that unfortunately occurs over time. These places have so much story to tell, and I think seeing them in this way, it lets me imagine all of the things that could have happened here in years past. I've shown this process in a few of my other videos. I basically take small glass microscope slide covers and I cut them with a tungsten carbide tip scriber and then I place them onto the window with super glue or some other glue and sometimes break the pieces to get a broken glass effect. This is a really realistic effect for windows as these slide covers are so thin and they look great when broken. Here is the liquid latex rubber technique again. You can see I'm just blotting it on with a sponge or some kind of foam brush and then almost immediately I'm just painting right over it, not with a brush because I don't want brush strokes but another foam brush and you basically let it dry and then you can rub it off with your fingers and it looks great for peeling paint. For an extra realistic look I try to leave some of the peeled paint on there like it's hanging off the wall and I'm always really happy with how it ends up. Now I'm just using my usual ground up pastels and pigment powders to start dirtying up the wall and windows. Here's the second wall that I built off camera, and I'm just gluing both of these to the floor piece with wood glue. Now to start on some of the details, I 3D printed this little box, and this piece is actually just a piece of styrene plastic that I cut, and I'm painting them red, and it's going to be a little fire system control box. To glue this door on open on an angle, I'm using some super glue and CA glue accelerator so that it dries immediately and stays in place. And this is a small fire label that I printed out and we're just gluing it on. This is another piece that I 3D printed, it's going to be for a lamp, and I drilled a hole to fit the piping for it. And here's the piping for the firebox. In the original photo, there was a small raised section of concrete that had some rebar sticking out. There probably used to be some kind of machinery there. So I'm trying to recreate that by drilling some holes into this piece and putting some small pieces of piping and then I'll paint them to look rusty and old. I'm going a little heavier on this piece with pigment powders and alcohol so that it really locks in the color and really makes it look like there's been dirt on it for a very long time. Now I've laid down my tile grout and I'm spraying some diluted alcohol and then dropping some watered down Mod Podge to seal it all in. Adding little pieces of broken wood, extra dirt, different, different colors of dirt, all of this just helps add to the realism. 
Now onto the vines. I'm using a couple different types of vines here. All of these in this video were purchased from Diorama Precipe. They have very, very awesome realistic looking foliage, trees, grasses, and vines. This video is not sponsored by them, I just really love their products. And I'll link them in the description. But here you can see these are a different type of vine. They came with these small foam pieces separate and I'm just basically gluing them on the way I want and they're going to give a great bit of variety next to the other type of vines. I'm using hot glue here so that they stick quickly and I can continue working faster. This building used to be the original laundry building and when I went in the light was coming through the windows and pooling in just different areas and making every little plume of dust shine and I just thought it was so interesting and beautiful to see something that's been left alone for so long now with nature taking back over. So it was right about here that I realized I kind of hurt myself. I got too excited with the vines and got going on them without doing a couple steps that I still wanted to do on the glass windows. So here I'm pushing the vines aside and I'm airbrushing just some matte varnish to start fogging up the windows a little bit so they're not perfectly clear. And then I'm adding this screen to the outside. Some of these windows have protection mesh built into them so that when they break they don't go everywhere and I'm trying to recreate that with this screen. This part was definitely tedious with the vines in the way, but I also had to cut out the screen where the window was broken to keep it looking real. So needless to say, I wish I did it before the vines, but it came out looking pretty good anyway. And I'm just holding this piece down so it glues in the right spot, and let's look at the finished shots. I really love sharing these places with you through these dioramas. If you've enjoyed them too, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see the next video. It also just really helps recommend these videos to more people. See you next time.